It's been a very interesting discussion. I, I had uh, some, uh, some doubts at some parts uh, whether it was just going to be sort of promoting technology or thinking critically about it, but uh, there's been a lot of very interesting discussion. I mean, I think there's, there's at least three things I'd like to hear them address that they haven't really. I mean, one of them is, uh, is just getting a deeper sort of political analysis of technology. I mean, there's, they're, they're sort of posing the question, how can technology help us? Whereas there are some problems that the technological economy create, and I think they're not really getting into the contradictions of that. Um, and they're not, uh, they're especially not bringing a sort of class lens. I mean, technology is so connected to various forms of privilege, and um, I think they could address they could address this in a much deeper way. Um, related to that, they've only been looking at technology as um, only been looking at technology from the consumer's perspective, and um, so they've been ignoring this, the, the perspective of the producer. I mean, there's. There's been um, a lot of talk about the sort of flexible city that technology will enable for us. Um, and, and people have talked about Starbucks as the model workplace of the future. Um, but uh, you know, these raise big questions about, uh, about the sort of precarious classes that are, that are producing these spaces and these technological artifacts. And I think that's something that they could talk about. And then finally, the emphasis has really all been on high tech. And, and digital technology, and there's something to be said about low tech as well. Uh, well, I don't think the smart cities are the answer. So uh, I, I would, I would rather ask. Um, I, I mean, we need to interrogate this word "smart." It really is mystifying and con confusing. I mean, I, I would, I would ask uh, who this technology helps, who it harms, who is. Uh, Promoting it, who's producing it, uh, what what political and social projects is it uh, militating for, and what is it uh, preventing, and and our ideas about smart cities, what do they uh, what do they assume? Um, I mean, I think it's it's interesting that for all of the sort of futuristic utopian dreaming that's been happening, um, you haven't really heard anyone even really try to articulate a different kind of urban order. It's always been a sort of more high-tech version of the status quo, and uh, I, th I think that uh, I, I think that's a real missed opportunity. I mean, dreams of the future are are really ways to shape the present, um, and I think that uh, if if there were some sort of different uh, alternative uh, dreams going on here, then we actually could have a, a, a much more sort of politically incisive discussion.